Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a quick look at the Android 7.0, EMUI 5.0 specifically, update to the Honor 6X. It actually just came out, so if you have the Honor 6X, please make sure you check it out. It should be coming out to most devices. If you don't get it, it should be there within the next couple of days. Let's not go ahead and waste any time. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at EMUI 5.0 on our Honor 6X. First thing I want to mention to you guys, the update did push through by itself. I was checking for it, it came up. Uh, the main thing I want, though is that I wasn't able to stop it to show you guys the update process, but the first thing you're going to notice out of the box is it's updating some applications. But this is the new EMUI system. It still has the option of having the no app drawer uh, function, which means the main launcher doesn't have it right now, but you can turn it on and I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, you'll notice that the color scheme right out of the box, it's starting to match more to what we had on the Mate 9 earlier this year. Definitely very nice and also the P10 from, uh, you know, from Huawei. Definitely a really good update, really, really nice, uh, simple. I'm going to walk you through the settings real quick. So the main tab didn't change, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, we do have the categorization here. We have airplane mode, uh, dual SIM management, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, as you'd expect, uh, data mode more, gives us access to mobile data, tethering, and as well as link plus update, live update here, and then VPN, and then 4G is enabled. Uh, let's go back real quick. Uh, the next thing I have for you here is when it gets to the home screens, we'll go in. We have the two different home screen styles. It is defaulted to the one that was originally on EMUI 4.0 or 4.1, uh, and you are able to switch it over here. So let's go ahead and say it's going to take us back to the home screen, and now we have an app drawer. Very nice. It is vertical, uh, but you know, again, just very nice. The ability to be able to switch over to this and get that out of the box is very nice. Uh, swiping from the top, the panel is changed as well. We no longer have the dual panel. Let's go ahead and swipe away some of these things. Yeah. Uh, you can customize this by going in directly into the uh, edit here. Sorry. And then you can customize the different options, remove some and keep them. I put all of them in just to kind of show you guys what they look like. Uh, and then we're able to basically customize it. Let's go back here. Sorry. Swiping through here. Uh, and then you have the ability of expanding them or going into settings. The settings doesn't have the side panel from Android 7.0. So if we go to about phone, you'll notice it says uh, EMUI 5.0 with Android 7.0. Um, and of course, the version number or the model number is the BLN L24. This is the 32 gig model built in storage with three gigs of RAM with expandable storage with the micro SD card. Um, there is different models. I'm not sure how those are going to come in or not. And of course, this is still running the Kirin, uh, sorry, the Kirin 655 and three gigs of RAM, as I mentioned to you guys. Uh, going back, let's go and go back here real quick. Uh, just kind of go through the rest of the options here. As I showed you guys with the home screen, you have the ability of changing that the display. You can change the options, go through, change the different sizes, everything. Pretty much what you would expect. Um, eye comfort is turned on here. Brightness level, color temperature, sleep option, and then I did change that to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and hit the tab. We do get the tab in here. So when you're in this option, you're able to go in from the tab. But when you're in the main screen, you notice that the tab kind of goes away. You just have the option to search. So to access the tab, you just have to be in a menu, and then you can go through and skip from one side to the other. Not a bad implementation, but again, something you want to keep in mind. Then we looked at over on display, sound. Uh, sound options are pretty much the same. Notification status, uh, this is where you can customize the notification status bar to be able to put the battery percentage. The, uh, definitely where you connect it as far as if you want to show your carrier or not. I have T-Mobile running on the SIM card. Uh, going back here, fingerprint ID, we still have fingerprint gestures, which is very nice. Let's go back here and I'll swipe down. I can open up the notification shade. That looks like it's still uh, usable, useful there and you can use it. And then we still have smart assistants, do not disturb is built in here, Google accounts, accounts, apps, permission, and of course, memory and usage. Uh, this is again the 32 gig model. I still have about 20 gig worth of usage here. Don't have a lot of apps installed on this one, uh, unlike uh, some of my other app devices. And last but not least, we have battery, and then battery here just gives us the access to be able to turn power saving, ultra power savings, or some of the other options. So um, we have the uh, selfie mode, the, the, able to, the, the adaptive focus here, the wide aperture mo mode to be able to use the dual lenses in the back that's still there. You can turn it on and adjust it. Um, looks like we still have video camera. Let's look at the settings. Resolution still, still the same. I have it set to 4x3, GPS tag, mute, uh, touch to hold, volume, all of that, ultra, sh uh, ultra snapshot. Uh, camera optimization, image adjustment. We have uh, photo, pro photo, uh, video, pro video, HDR. I'm not sure if we had pro video before, but we do have that now. Panorama, of course, uh, light painting, audio note, watermark, and uh, slow-mo and time-lapse. So 
nice options. I definitely appreciate the fact that now that this is a really good deal, especially for the price and what you get with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys in the next video.